Hey guys, so if you use remote desktop software, maybe to access your work computer or some other computer, then you may have seen one of the many cases where hackers were able to get through the remote desktop software and either access personal information or just take control over somebody else's computer entirely and basically reverse the connection. Instead of you controlling a different computer, somebody else's computer is controlling you. So you may be looking for some ways to make that connection and your use of remote desktop software more secure. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do it using a VPN. Now, what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's going to connect you up to a different server, can send your whole internet connection over to a, a different server, a VPN server. So this is you, the client, you're gonna connect with the VPN and then all of your information is going to go through what's called a secure tunnel, which means that nobody can access that information. Everything is gonna get sent over to the VPN server. So a new location that's not tied to your actual physical location, and then you're gonna go over to the internet. So whatever anybody's gonna see whenever you use your remote desktop client, they're only gonna see that VPN server and they won't be able to go backwards to you and get access to your computer or your information. So this right here is ExpressVPN. This is personally one of my own favorite VPNs and it happens to be a very secure option. That's part of the reason why I like it. They have done many different security audits by outside independent third-party companies who have tested out their system and ensured that they really are secure, that they don't keep or store any personal information local on their own servers, it just doesn't exist. And what you would do is just find a location. You might wanna find somewhere that's physically close to you in order to get the best possible connection and the best speed. So for example, if you're in the US, you might go to the United States. You can click on this arrow and get more options within the US. With ExpressVPN, you have 105 countries to choose from. So you do have a lot of options. So let's just click on the United States and let's click connect. And right now I'm connecting up to New Jersey, a computer in New Jersey. And now my entire internet connection is going through that server in New Jersey. So when I use the internet, everything that I'm doing is getting encrypted. It's going through that tunnel that I showed before. It's gonna be protected. And all anybody is gonna see is that I'm in New Jersey. So now I can go into my remote desktop client, whichever one it is, maybe any desk or team viewer, whichever one. Although I don't know about team viewer, they have had some incidents, security incidents. So maybe not team viewer, but let's say Windows Remote Desktop or End Desk are fine options. And then you would just go and connect up to that other computer and you will have a more protected and secure connection. Now, ExpressVPN is my personal favorite VPN for this, but there are two other VPNs that I recommend as well. And those would be NordVPN and Surfshark. And these are also really good options. They'll also get the job done and give you that added layer of security, keeping your connection even more secure, making it harder for anybody to get into your remote desktop connection and access your personal information. And if you wanna find out more about any of these VPNs, then I have more links and useful information in the description below. But this one right here, NordVPN, has a feature which is very useful for remote desktop connections. And it's this one right here, called MeshNet, this added feature. And this is actually totally free. You don't even need a subscription for this. You can just download and try MeshNet for free. I'll have a link for this in the description below as well, so you can just get here really quickly and find it. You can just download this and start using this right away. And what this does, it's going to link up devices more securely because the thing is, even if you do the method that I showed you before, where you connect up with a VPN, at the end of the day, when you connect up to the VPN server and then you start using your remote desktop client, you will be accessing and going through the internet at large, right? That is at the end of the day, how the connection is gonna happen between your computer and whichever computer it is that you're trying to access remotely. And that right there is where the connection becomes vulnerable because you are going over the general internet. It's not a private network connection. And that's where MeshNet comes in. What it's going to do, it's going to make all the devices linked with MeshNet as if they were in the same house on one private network disconnected from the rest of the internet 
and that is going to make your connection a whole lot more secure. Now, the way this works, every remote desktop software is going to work a little bit different. So you might want to check it out for your specific software, whatever it is you're using. For example, with Windows remote desktop, you first want to make sure that the two computers that you're linking with MeshNet are going to be a Windows 10 or 11 Pro Edition computer. So you can just go here to the about and by addition, Windows 10 or 11 Pro, both computers should have that addition. And then you would go and download MeshNet on both of them, right? And you also want to go into the computer that you're going to access remotely. So in our example, the work computer, right? And then just go to remote desktop settings over here and enable remote desktop. Okay. And then once you've done that, now you can just go over to your devices in MeshNet and link up those two devices. Then once that's done, you open up Windows Remote Desktop, you go over to personal devices or link devices and get the device name. You want to copy that, put that over here where it says computer and connect up. And that's all there is to it. Now you're going to have both of those computers linked up with MeshNet and just get a much more secure and private connection, really private, because like I said, MeshNet makes it seem as if those two computers are on a personal private network. Now you can use MeshNet together with a VPN as well. You can go over to the VPN and connect up to a country here and then also go into MeshNet and use that feature as well. They don't like contradict each other. You can use both of them together and that will get you just a super high level of protection if you're really worried. So that's my recommendation. If you want the most secure connection using a remote desktop, try out NordVPN and see if it works for you. And for all of these VPNs and for NordVPN, you'll have in-depth reviews and also a discount link that I managed to get a hold of, which will be in the description below. So if you have any more questions about these VPNs, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.